Okay, so we've all been here before. If you own an iPhone, you will either be very used to that alert, or you're paying more and more for an iCloud subscription every single year. So I would like to introduce you to an app that's gonna fix it. This is a new app called Swipe, and obviously the spelling is a play on AI because a lot of this is quite AI driven, we'll talk about that later. But recently I was reached out to by Reflex, who actually make the fantastic lenses that I recently tested for the iPhone and Samsung phones. And they reached out asking to sponsor a video for the launch of their new app, Swipe. And being totally honest and transparent here, I was going to turn this sponsorship down. But after downloading and testing the app for a little bit, I actually entirely changed my mind. I wanted to share this app with you guys because I really genuinely believe that it is solving a big problem on iOS phones. Storage management, particularly for photos and videos, and obviously they take up so much storage on your iPhone is absolutely horrendous on iOS. No surprises as to why Apple obviously makes a ton of money from iCloud storage, but this is the problem that Swipe is going to fix. So let's jump in. Okay, so this is the Swipe application. You can see that we're in two main sections. You've got home and explore. The ways you've got to delete photos are similar and then the explore section, which goes into the swiping aspect. Let's first go through the similar. So what we can do here, we're gonna tap in. Swipe is going to pick up when you've got similar photos here. You can see that all of these photos are actually pretty much identical. Sometimes they might be shot one with the wide angle, one with the ultra wide, just to make sure that you're not gonna delete anything by mistake. You can go through and swipe through these just like that to make sure you are actually happy with your choices or you can select and deselect these, but then you just go delete, just like that. Delete, delete. I'm gonna deselect that as well, delete. It is an unbelievably quick way to go through tons of photos and just get rid of duplicates. You can see quite how quickly I'm going through and deleting these photos here. You can see tons of photos that it's just pulling in and I'll be able to go through and delete all of those nice and quickly. It's not just similar photos. We can go down to similar videos here and you can see that it's done the same thing. The, I can also just go through, I'm just gonna delete all of those. I'm gonna delete those. You can tap load more and more videos will be pulled through. Then if we head over to the explore section, this is where we're gonna start Start swiping on our images. So I'm gonna go into 2024 here. You can see that things are itemized by month. So I've got October, November, December. We'll carry on with December here. And you can see that the whole thing is actually gamified. So I can swipe left to delete the image or get rid of the image. And I can swipe right to keep the image just like that. By actually gamifying it is unbelievably quick and it doesn't even feel like you're actually doing anything to get rid of all of these images. You can just see, I'm gonna keep that one, let's delete that one delete that one. It is so, so easy. You can actually see that some of these images here, we we'll keep deleting, but I'm going to like this one. You can actually see that your images are going to be graded along the bottom here, and they're given a score, and that's based on an AI algorithm to grade each photo individually, based on a whole bunch of photo parameters. So once we've actually gone through and swiped away a load of these photos, so here in the trash section, this is where you actually get rid of these images. So I'm going to tap this. I'm going to select all and go to delete. It's gonna ask, do you actually want to delete these images? Tap delete and you can see I have saved 647 megabytes, 252 items deleted and total space saved being 1.6 gigabytes. So, so fast and easy. So once you've gone through and have started saving some photos and deleting some photos, you'll actually be able to start using the best section on the homepage. As you can see, what's happening here is all of your photos are being algorithmically graded using AI and they basically are given a score. And then this score is used to populate this section. Your photos are being ranked from highest to lowest in terms of kind of photo quality based on a whole bunch of data. And it does mean you're getting a curated folder Folder with basically your best photos. This is a really nice feature and you can tap this button in the top right and you're actually able to create a proper iOS gallery of your best shots. And then finally we have the overview section. This is almost like your app stats but also stats for your standard iPhone storage management. It gives you much more info here available than the default iOS storage section in the settings. You can first see how much media you have to review, the space that's been saved by using the swipe app, how many items are in 
inside your gallery and the total disk space for that, and then a breakdown of all the different media and their corresponding file size. You can see with the amount of video stored on my device, this really is real, real attention. And so that's Swipe, a very simple idea, but executed fantastically and solves a massive problem on the iPhone. And hopefully one that's actually gonna save you a lot of money and time in the future, not having to go manually through all of your photos, deleting each one individually. Thank you so much for Reflex for sponsoring this video, supporting the channel. You can check out Swipe using the top bar in the description.